Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face. And goddamn, does it feel good to say those words again. Uh, last time, we saved Wells here from a threshold known as the Clocks. But by the time we got back to his buddy Horowitz, who'd asked us to save him in the first place, the poor bastard had already been assimilated by the Hiss. Now he's a mini-boss, and, uh, we've got to go avenge him against himself. But before we get into that, I want to make an acknowledgement. And I suppose provide some context for, uh, anyone watching this playlist in the future as to why my skills are suddenly atrophied. You see, I'm, uh, just getting off of a, uh, unplanned hiatus that, uh, followed the untimely death of my, uh, sweet cat Mushu. May he rest in peace. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't handle it well. Nice. But, uh, one of the things that kept me going when it was tough... One of the things that really helped... Was that when I, uh... Made that text post on YouTube... To explain my absence... So many of you guys showed up with comments that were supportive and understanding and caring. I mean, some of them brought tears back to my eyes, but in a good way, which was a nice change of pace. I kind of thought the way it worked was that I was here to entertain you guys, but lo and behold, there you were, supporting me when I needed you. So thank you, Burning Dog fans, from the very bottom of my heart, for having my back when I needed it most. Now, I believe we've, uh, got a mini-boss to kill. Let's go. I got some comments on that post that were, uh, from people I didn't actually recognize, I'll admit. But they did have icons next to their name that told me that they'd been subscribed to me for however many years. And I suddenly realized... The lurkers are coming out of the dark in order to offer their condolences. If that doesn't make you feel loved, I don't know what will. Hold on. Something's wrong with him. Oh, yes. Shit. The proper order of events. Horowitz. Oh, God, no. Oh boy. I learned a tip from a, uh, thing. If you, uh... Oh, I can just cut to that. Releasing a launch object before it reaches you will propel it towards your target from its current position. Use this to deal damage to enemies from behind. Okay, now the trick is unpausing without immediately dying and getting cut to ribbons. Ah! I don't even know what 
this is. It's a speaker. That was not the button I thought it was. Oh, jeez. I kind of... I'm honestly doing better than I thought I would be. Given that I haven't played the game in two weeks. Where are you going? You can't run this way. Rest in peace, Horowitz. Ah, oh, you poor bastard. I should talk to Wells. Make sure he's okay. Requiesca and touch him. I don't think Wells is going to be okay for a very long time, if you ask me. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. And thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. At least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clocks. Oh, yeah. The rot's down there. That altered item needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. I should go back down and contain it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Thank you, Director. I'll go see what good I can do there. Interdepartmental cooperation, one out of ten. Uh, what? That's not what I thought that was going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is what I thought that would be. Why is that this? Jesse returns to the sealed threshold to contain the anchor altered item that cost Horowitz and the other rangers their lives. A matter of time, Jesse finds a wounded ranger named Horowitz in a logistics lobby. He asks Jesse to go in and find his squad mate, Wells. Jesse finds Wells in the sealed threshold, an abandoned area overflowing with replicated clocks. Jesse learns about the powerful anchor altered item and how it decimated the ranger squad. They escape the threshold only to find Horowitz has been corrupted by the hiss. Jesse and Wells defeat Horowitz and the other hiss. What? There were no other hiss in that fight. Weird. Wait, you mean this thing over here when you say safe room, don't you? Oh, this is back. Bye, Wells. Maybe if he's lucky, he will actually appear there later. So, okay, so you do only have to do the puzzle once. We just skipped right through the motel. I bet if you were in the motel at that point, there would just be a ghostly flicker of Jesse for a second. Hmm. I wonder if you had the patience if you could actually dismantle this pile of clocks. Given it's only targeting the peripheral ones, I probably don't have the ability to lift them out of the pile. Oh, right. Plus, making all of them physics items would, uh... Is that a sledgehammer? No. Disappointment. Making all of them, uh... Physics items would probably make the frame rate chug here. Oh, no, that's right. They did mark some of the early ones off. For a moment there, it's like... Oh, is that the original clock? All taped off and marked in, pl in place. Where was it, anyway? There I am.
Wait a minute, that wasn't even connected to anything. I don't have to rip it out of the wall. Well, they wouldn't be using wireless technology, so I have to assume it's, uh, supernatural bullshit. Like, you're gonna open up that box and there's an eggplant inside that uh, sends your messages from one part of the house to the other. That's the, uh, the filler one. Oh, good! Look who's back! Oh, bad! Look what that is! Jesus Christ, Agent! Too much goddamn debris around him! It's bouncing off of his shield! That's what it feels like. Oh, I hate that noise it just made. I was never close to them when they did that before. The squealing metal. My teeth feel funny. Okay, we're running. Oh hell. Wait, what is he waiting on? No. My flesh. Well, hey, I took Horowitz out in my first try, so I'm feeling pretty good about that one. My lozenge wrapper says, don't give up on you. It also says, let's hear your battle cry, but I don't want to blow at the mic. <laughs> hmm. Oh, piss drink. Oh, I never actually... I saw that, but, uh... This one... Yeah, I never actually touched this one. So I didn't respawn here. No, two points, yes, okay. What's that? You know what? Yeah, another 10% of that. Let's do that. Levitate 2! I wasn't saving up or something. Easy come, easy go. Let's not think about it too hard. Before I came back for reels, I, uh... Yeah, it's right over there. Before I came back for reels, I, uh, dipped back into the, uh, the audio log books. The audio books, that's what they're called. I was thinking audio logs from games and got tripped up there. Yeah, the audio book things with the, uh, the Darksiders novel. Just, uh, ease myself back into making content. Shout out to the people who have comments on that. I know it's not the most exciting thing I've ever put in the channel. What do you know? The cardboard box did almost nothing. Oh no! Oh. Would you stop throwing drawers and shit at him? And we're running. Knock, knock. No, not another goddamn box. Yeah, that'll do. It's metal. Oh, wow. Was it when he moved backwards and it was the whole pile of junk right in front of him for a second, I genuinely thought that, uh... 
Oh fuck, the motherfucker has summoned an astral spike. Now that's more like it! Oh hell. And we're running. And we're dodging. And we're taking a drink up a bunch of dots. Mmm, nutritious dots. Oh, hey, why are you moving quickly? I don't like that at all. Get him, Jeremy! Oh, put a shield up immediately. I hate that. Can I grab that? No! I just hope one of these things is a good use. More where that came from, buddy! Ah! Oh, man. Sir Tave Avici. I knew if I kept pressing, either I would die or he would, and it would be very exciting, so... Hey, content either way. No, I had, I thought, yeah, it did that while I was actually here. The hell? I can't. Oh no, that was the crouch button. Sorry, got a bit messed up. Played a bunch of Red Dead Redemption Two while I was uh, out. I found it helped. Took my mind off things. I mean, at first I was just watching a bunch of movies. I just watch whatever Netflix or Disney Plus suggested to me. It's like, oh, the mechanic with Jason this Statham. Is a sure. Thing well showed me, the one with the altered item inside. We left the door closed. Yep, it still works, and that really bothers me. Because if it was broken, well, that would be one thing. That just means that someone casually opened it and either came in or out. Abracadabra! Hocus! Focus! I know open sesame and closed sesame is more traditional, but let's face it, putting making that the command word for your magic door is about as smart these days as making your email password password. Although I will admit, more clocks. That one just blinked out of existence. I will admit that when I was a kid, at one point, I had an email password that was more like ass word, all one word. First letter of each one capitalized, just to mix things up. I cast Magic Missile on the Darkness. Wait. This doesn't look anything like the rest of... Where the fuck are we? Just kind of distracted, sorry. I was thinking about stuff. Bitchin. Oh. Yeah, that's way more dangerous than what I thought it was. Oh, that's right, I did actually collect the thing that was surrounded by other things. What was that? Oh, that was, was that the shield? No, that wasn't the shield. That was... Uh, no. Mm, I think it might have been that one. No, no, that was the shield one. Duh, I knew that. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was that one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that, uh, attracts things to it, including the opinions of people. With its, uh, yeah, red with elegant black Japanese characters, and then down to the bottom, more notable, yeah. 
is its ability to attract sentient organisms with its rich red color and warm, comforting glow. That's right, I brought up the, uh, the toaster that forces anyone who's speaking or writing about it to refer to it in the first person as they- as if they were the toaster. I think there was another, like, creepypasta effect where, like, eating the toast makes you gradually go insane. But honestly, I was just, uh, more amused by the thing where it makes you talk about yourself like you're a toaster. And I suppose we'll finish the episode by, uh... Not that button. This button. Yes, checking out the mods. Oh, let's see... Huh? I was going in the wrong direction, that's why the number was changing so much. Sure, sure. My incredible psychic powers tell me that this one is not as good as this one. I was looking at the wrong fucking one. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh... Story checks out. that one up like oh whatever uh huh ooh what do i have on zoom i mean on pierce boo mine's still better okay we got Huh? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. In that case. Uh, yet did keep the correct one. Good. Good. Do I have... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll just hang on to that. Okay. Wait. Uh, right. Okay. Okay! That was exciting. <laughs> Needed to be done. Now, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control... Why don't you head over there and go say hello to that anchor? Later!